Manuel Chalate Rodriguez and Jacques Masters from Strikeforce in Auckland, New Zealand, both 79 kilograms. The records are pretty different, obviously. Uh, Manuel having seven wins and one loss, and um, Jacques coming with three and uh, one. Inside the arena from the Black Water, please welcome Jacques Masters. And here we go from Strike Force in New Zealand. The Bell of the Tasman once again in the square ring. Jacques Masters. Yes, Jacques Masters coming up. Scary looking character, but ready for action, Richie. He is, uh, these boys, big boys, you know, bumping 80 kilos here. Um, it's going to be a good fight. Jacques seems to be in good shape as well. I know Manny, uh, I train with Manny as well out of TP Gym. And, He's always in good shape, so... Oh, the crowd, that that was a local boy. Crazy, in the red corner, Manuel Chalate Rodriguez. TP fight Jim. He fights out of the red corner, always also representing Double Dragon. This action is about to heat up. Cool, calculated customer. Chalate Rodriguez. Oh, the intimidation. Oh, the intimidation continues. It's all on here. Richie, what can we expect in this bout? Well, uh, yeah, the both models look pretty confident, relaxed. A bit of a stare down there. And as I said, now the interesting factor about this fight is Rod McSwain is in uh, is in Jack's corner, and Rod has also fought Manny in the past, so they know a little bit about Manny. They know a little bit what to expect. It's whether uh, you know, Manny's changed his game or whether their game plan is going to be effective. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man trains in mixed martial arts at Strike Force, Auckland, New Zealand. He stands at 173 centimeters tall, weighing 78.8 kilograms. He holds a mixed martial arts record of five fights, four wins and one draw. From across the Tasman, fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, to the proud, very welcome to Jacques Masters! <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner. This man trains in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and kickboxing at TP Gym and Double Dragon. He stands at 176 centimeters tall, weighing 78.7 kilograms. He holds a mixed martial arts record of eight fights. Seven wins and one loss. Fighting out of Cronulla, Australia. Give a proud warrior welcome to Manuel Chalete Rodriguez. Now the crowd just rises as one. Yeah, tell me the local boys here. Absolutely. Big 78 kilograms, I thought. Manuel Chalate Rodriguez against Jacques Masters. This bout is three fives. 79 kilograms mixed so martial arts. Richie, yeah? this is going to be hot. Definitely. I, uh, all the fights tonight have been uh, really exciting, jam packed full of action. I don't see this being any different. Here we go, round one. You ready? You ready? Action! Let's touch up. Whistle blows, and here they go. Stalking each other. We have to give a little bit of uh, the experience side to Manuel. He's had a few more fights. Throws the left hook but, um, and misses. Can't really yeah, read too much into that. Mm. Looks like the jungle boy back there started to shoot. He's got all of a single leg. Can he finish it? Can he complete the takedown? Oh, that is back. he swiveled to the back. Wow, oh, this could be... Trying to get his hooks in. He's got him. He's got two. I think Manny's going to try and flatten him out. He's working, oh, definitely okay. working for this, a rear naked this choke. Could be, Can he finish it? This could be um, a very short lift. Jacques contest. defending. He hasn't got it. I don't totally. think he's got it underneath no, the chin. So he hasn't. Jacques might have just bidding his time. It's important here too, you know, in Manny's situation, not to you know, blow yourself out. And, 
you know, you, your arms can feel you know, pretty weary after trying to sink those chokes in, okay. so it's important not to waste all your energy. If you're not going to get it, if you believe you're going to get it, go for it. But if you're not sure, you can, you know, better off let it go and, and just remaining on his back. So in a situation like this, you, you, you'd recommend, obviously, as yourself, you just rest. You've obviously spent some energy. You just find, wait for another opening. Is that what you do? Yeah, you don't want to rest completely. He's got to slap on armor. Oh! Yes, he's tapped. Oh. It's very that, slick work from Manuel. That was an impressive execution. Very impressive. Great ground game there from Manuel. Oh. Oh, my, my, my. Had his back and swung around and locked on the armbar. Ah, was... oh, those at home, if you've missed that. This Great week. showing of <laughs> Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu there from El <laughs> Chilardi oh, Rodriguez. No. He's happy to there. Look, he's got his own crowd excited. here. The fans go crazy. The doctor looking at Jacques' arm. I'm not sure if there's any injury, but... That was an impressive execution of an armbar. Very. He pulled it off from a, a unique position, you know, you don't see Armbar's getting, he had his back and then he swung around and blocked his... Here we'll see the action right yeah. now, he's got his back. He's got his hooks in. Here he goes, he's securing that arm and he swung for the back. That was fantastic, that really was nice. Absolutely work. brilliant execution of an Armbar. That was great. I don't think uh, Jax really, you know, was really thinking about the Armbar in that situation. He's no. probably really worried about protecting his neck. You know, Manuel being his back, that's what he's... He looks for and all of a sudden he's snapped around and got the arm. Here we go to the judging position. Oh. oh, that particular bat, ladies and gentlemen, incredible action, very quick. Manuel Chalate Rodriguez. You can hear the crowd are uh, pretty pleased with their, their hand down. They, they love that. Definitely. They love that. That was a wonderful execution of an armbar.